What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. VP Tactical here. So today I actually brought out a oldie but goodie and I'm not sure why I hadn't reviewed this sooner but uh, needless to say it's here. This is the Walther PPX so some of you may not be familiar with it. Very uh, interesting looking gun to say the least especially looking at the uh, the grip and the handle and then of course we'll do a chamber check. Of course mag is empty. empty. So this uh, unique pistol is the Walther PPX M1. Um, this is chambered in 9mm, so you may or may not have seen this. They do have a newer version out. I believe it's called the Creed. Not very expensive, um, at least the newer models are. This was actually, I don't know, a little fun fact, my second pistol I'd ever bought. I originally had a Sigma, so Smith & Wesson Sigma, I think it was an SV... Uh, W40VE or something along those lines, or SW40VE. Um, interesting pistol, wasn't overly happy with it. Just the trigger pull on it was close to 13 pounds. It was a, just an interesting beast to say the least and got rid of it and upgraded to this. I think around that time, it was somewhere in the neighborhood of right around about 500 bucks. But uh, absolutely fell in love with this gun. I had gone into the, the gun shop and after I had sold my other pistol and Picked up a couple of different ones, tried out some Glocks, tried out some different pistols that were out there, CZ and some other ones. And I landed on this, and actually almost for the sole purpose of the grip. I know it looks very odd, um, actually it's very unusually look, unusual looking to most people's, you know, most traditional grips are usually, you know, angled, they're straight, um, and they don't have any sort of curvature to it, or if they do, it's very minimal. Uh, so that was what actually drew me to it. It was just the sheer comfort of picking this thing up. And I ended up buying two of them, long story short. And kind of give you a little background. So Walther, uh, they were actually founded in 1886, which is about 133 years ago. Pretty phenomenal. And they've been in, you know, their weapons have shown up in various uh, wars among, of course, movies like 007, where you see the PPK, which is probably their most popular uh, pistol, at least what most people would know them for. They are actually involved with uh, also sport and competition shooting. It looks like they have uh, some custom guns on their website if you pull them up. Uh, and actually, speaking of which, their website features shooting techniques, cleaning disassembly as well, and not just a manual on how to do it, but more so their actual videos, which is really cool. I haven't seen any other gun manufacturer do that, at least none of the ones that I've purchased, whether it was Rock Island, Remington, or um, Glock, or any other ones. And maybe I haven't explored further. Correct me if I'm wrong. Leave comments below. You know, I always love to hear uh, feedback from you folks. But a little bit about the gun. So this one, of course, does have a Picatinny rail. So definitely awesome if you want to add accessories to it. Takedown's pretty similar or pretty standard to most pistols. You know, you lock the slide half back or lock the slide back and then you pull down the takedown lever. Um, does have front and rear slide serration. So definitely great if, you know, if you're used to using the front serrations. I'm not quite sure why most folks do that, or at least uh, seems to be common nowadays. I guess it would just depend on your technique and... Uh, you know, how you prefer to shoot the gun. It does have an exposed hammer in the rear, which is unusual, especially since it's not a striker fired pistol. Um, however, there's nothing to actually cock or anything. It's all done. This is a semi-automatic pistol. It does uh, have a six and a half pound trigger, so it's reasonable. Um, probably, I would say, a trigger that has reasonable take up. So there's probably, I would say, close to maybe half an inch there before it breaks. However, once you hit that wall, it's 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 pretty clean. Reset, decent. A little bit long in my opinion, or at least longer than I would like. And again, pretty clean break uh, for a $500 gun, which, you know, if you can find them now, they're probably somewhere in the neighborhood of about three or 400. Uh, does have a four inch barrel. There was also a threaded barrel option, which I was sad I missed out on. Uh, I don't have any pistol suppressors yet or silencers. However, something I'd like to get in the future. So who knows, maybe there's still a barrel floating out there that doesn't cost as much as a gun, if not more, which is usually seemed to be the case of what, I've, what I was finding. And uh, needless to say, you know, like I said, overall, it's an awesome gun. I think it was definitely designed more for the individual who wanted to carry. This particular one does not have a standard safety on it. As you can see, there's only the slide release. No uh, grip safety, so... The only safeties that are built in are, are two drop safeties and then a firing pin block. It does measure approximately 1.4 inches in width, 5.6 inches in height, and then approximately it says 4.02 inches in, in length. So from end to end, uh, 
it's a great pistol. It is a little bit big and bulky, and because of the, the odd shape of the handle, I think that's maybe what deterred me from actually carrying this. I did get a custom holster for it, um, which worked out great, and I think overall as a whole, it was a good buy, especially for a second pistol, you know, stepping up from the Sigma, which there was a lot of backlash from that, especially when I believe uh, Smith & Wesson was being sued by Glock for mimicking or violating some sort of patent. Needless to say, uh, this was a great step up and, you know, furthered my passion for wanting to get into shooting and, and doing other things within the uh, outdoor world space. So hope uh, you like this review. Appreciate you stopping by. And as always, hit that like and subscribe button. Definitely have some goodies coming up here in the near future. I did order some more parts, uh, some new triggers and some other things that are coming up for some of the other guns that I have. So stay tuned. Again, hit that like and subscribe button. You'll be the first to know about it. And thanks again for watching. Take care.